So you've got a vector, and you would like to rotate it by a given angle, and as a result, have another vector. How could you do that, you ask? One of the ways would be to use quaternion angle axis method. It requires you to provide two pieces of information. The rotation axis, which is nothing more than a vector around which the rotation will happen, and the actual rotation angle in degrees. As a result, we'll receive a quaternion representation of how to rotate something x degrees around given axis. It sounds enigmatic, but the only thing that's left for us to do is to multiply the received quaternion by vector we want to rotate. Let's have a look at a very useful example. We'll rotate a source vector by a random angle within a given range, and then store it in the rotated vector, which then, together with the range and the source vector, will be drawn using gizmos. Let's create a private method and call it rotate. In its first line, let's get the random angle. Using the rotation range, I make sure that the angle will be at max half of the range from either left or right side of the source vector. In the second line, I use our episode's hero quaternion.angleaxis, to which I pass the random rotation angle, and now we have to find the rotation axis. For that, let's switch to the 3D view. Here we see that the rotation should be happening around the Z axis, which in our case is equivalent to vector 3 forward. And now we simply multiply the result of the method by our source vector. I'm quickly adding the context menu attribute so we can test it using the inspector. And voila, everything works as expected. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and comment this video and subscribe to my channel. Have a fantastic day, love you and bye bye.